So here you can see me trying to decide how much overlap to have between the prong and the gallery rails. And I just want you to let you know that I was struggling with that. Keep in mind it's been two or three years since I designed jewelry as an everyday job. I never had a real rule for the amount of overlap anyway. And uh, so this may, uh, the amount of overlap I've chosen here may be a good amount or it might be a bad amount. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's too little, I don't know. Uh, feel free to leave any opinions you have about that in the comments below. But this is the sort of thing that if I had any doubts about it, I would show the jeweler and get their opinion about it. Let them tell me if they wanted the prong further in or further out. Uh, but the most important thing about this video is actually how I use flow along surface to position the side prongs. So I'm going to mirror this side prong over uh, so that there's four of them. And then I can actually choose the position of the side prongs, all of them, simply by moving this line back and forth. Okay, and also where you put the prongs, the side prongs, that's a design choice. You don't have to put them in the same place that I put them, okay? So I just thought they looked nice there. But uh, also this flow along surface technique is gonna help us later when we uh, are making the render model and we need to bend the prongs. It'll help, uh, help make that very easy for us as well. Okay, I'll let you have the background music back now. So here on the production model, you can see me cutting out the notches on the prongs with the cutter, the gem shaped cutter. I just want to let you know that that is an optional step and it's really according to the preference of the jeweler who will be setting the stone. Where I worked, they really like to have those notches cut out as a guide to the jeweler and they like the seat to be cut out to save the jeweler from having to cut out so much metal. But some jewelers may prefer that you leave the metal, uh, all of the metal there so that they can decide how high to set the stone and how much metal to take out. So that's optional and I just want to make that clear. Okay, back to the background music. So we're working on the render model here and when I apply the sapphire material you can see the prongs inside the gemstone. To fix that I make a copy of the gemstone and I scale it up by a very small amount. And then I use boolean difference to subtract that, that copy, from the setting. That leaves a very small gap between the setting and the gemstone so that you can't see the setting inside the gemstone. Alright, so we're done. And that wraps up this video. Feel free to leave questions or comments below the video. I want to thank all of you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and I hope to see all of you in future videos.